All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. The Mazinam de Carlos um, lawyer was actually harassed and attacked on camera. Yes, my people, this is a very, very, this is just to show you the amount of people that have hit for anything or anyone that is connected to the Biafra freedom and that is the issue we keep having every now and then the fact that uh, there are people that are not even um that are not that are not concerned or they they are people that are not even anywhere close or anywhere that thinks or wants to hear anything that wants or connects to the biafra movement and they are not uh, in any way liking to eat and that is the issue we keep having because this set of people are not people that uh, you would want to even have around you and uh, everything that concerns the biafra referendum is something that they hate from the bottom of their heart and they would not want anything that would look like movement or freedom or or progress at all uh in that state and that's the issue we keep having uh, when we see these people coming out and you check if you check well most of them are evil people your fellow evil people and uh, this man was attacked when he was still talking on on camera the, 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 he was even being interviewed when he was attacked and uh, he was pushed and everything happened uh, yeah, very before and this is very very tragic as you also know that uh, the PMBLGIE Simon Edward Njoko has uh, also been um, at, at this particular point we know that the forces against him which is uh, which would not pass the Islamic State have uh, always been sending people towards him sending assassins to him to make sure or to find a way to like bring him down which uh, one way or another they've been feeling woefully because of course you cannot stop a man that is doing the Lord's work Mazin Namdekano is a man that is doing the Lord's work Mazin Simon Ekba is also doing the Lord's work and that's the truth of the matter that is why whenever they try to do a whole lot of things to him it doesn't work out it doesn't end up working out and that's the truth of the matter it would not work out it's not something that would work out at the end it is something that you would think of and be like no no not at all it's not something that you would regard at any point in time but then that is what it is this is what we keep seeing every now and then with people that are not even uh, happy with the progress of things nowadays. Uh, the only thing that people are interested in nowadays is just uh, anything that will benefit them. And that is why we've had it very, very difficult. That's why it's been very, very difficult for us to, to progress from where we are. Because we have people that are only interested in themselves, especially the Igbo leaders and the Igbo governors, uh, where we have that are supposed to be supporting the cause instead, they are supporting something else or supporting something else that they would benefit from personally. And that is an issue, a very big issue at the moment. But then, as so it be, uh, when things like this keep happening, it just opens your eyes to the number of things, to the number of issues and weak links we have in our very before, which need to actually be talked about and settled at the moment. And the, the earlier we actually find the ways to actually settle it, the better for us, because we cannot, I repeat, we cannot have ourselves in that particular thrill of uh, things that would be happening because uh, we do not understand how these things are happening we do not we do not even want anything like that the only thing we've ever wanted has been the movement of the biafra freedom that has been the the release of mazin and the kano and also the, the release of Mazin and kano and also the division of this so-called one nigeria that had not benefited anyone at any point in time it is time for us to actually um, do something that would benefit every single one of us. We Igbos, we need to come together single-handedly and do the things that would that would actually that would actually gain have a general general gain for every single one of us. That is what we are hoping for. That is what uh, we are actually hoping for at the moment, and uh, it's really, really getting to every single one of us. But then the PM and every one of us involved in this have sworn not to give up, but to keep going, 
back to back to make sure that we achieve what we need to achieve to get where we need to get because that's like the most important thing of all uh, that is ready ready for the battle that is coming up soon so my people be ready because you cannot you do not know what would be happening soon okay on that note uh, uh Obama Sanjo himself just came out and made some kind of comments my people yes he just came out and made some kind of comments concerning the civil war uh, my people it doesn't really concern us this particular ex president uh, we know during his time um of course when he ruled in the military time and came back again and ruled again the second time he had enough time to do whatever he i don't know whatever he's saying but then of course um the most important thing for us to have in our minds on is that uh, we ourselves as a uh, as Biafrans must do the need for. Okay, my baby, he th he's talking about the Biafra war. Uh, let us see what he has said. Um, do you give him them back to back? I need it. What do I find about you? Okay, I'll tell you something. Oh, 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 oh. He says here, Olusi Gun, Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria, recently spoke at the conference on youth leadership titled Opportunities for Peace, Roles of the Youth in Conflict uh, Prevention in Africa. He called on youth to be advocates of uh, conver conversation over violence, highlighting the critical role that youth play in promoting peace. Uh, my people, I, I made a distinct recent and say we cannot go down if not if we are not if you've not done the needful we can peace is not even an option right now if you have decided not to give us what we want if you've decided not to give us a mass and the cow no has decided not to give us a biafra freedom a biafra referendum peace is not an option and so whatever you say now in uh, in a conference might be true and will be moved by gullible people that do not know what the true movement for the biafra army or the true movement for the biafra is ahead. They are the ones that might look into it, but the two people know the reason why we've been fighting this hard and we've been fighting for this long. Ahead. And that is those are the people that will not give up or that will not be moved by these gullible uh, 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 speeches that he's making at this particular point. He said, uh, according to him, according to Abbas and Joss article, he said that the country has shown resiliency, resiliency during the civil war by returning to the round table for settlement in spite of severe conflict. He exhorted the youths of today to adopt his, this mindset and convince those who live violently to think twice. Additionally, he emphasizes the significance of uh, fostering a culture of peace and empathy in the next generation. In Abbas and Joss was during the civil war, we killed ourselves mercilessly and destroyed our best of facilities, but we still came back to the round table to get the challenge result. Mm -hmm. You must develop the culture of peace, the culture of humanness, the culture of of living the way God wants us to live. Okay, so now this is what uh, he is advising them to do. But then to do what is needed, so we have we Bia friends have always been people of peace. We have always wanted peace in our lives. Every single thing about us has always been about peace. We are not people of war. We do not we do not want war. We have never ever wanted war. But then this is the situation you people put us into that make us want to lean to war. Yeah, of course that is the situation. We are not people of war. He's I don't know if he's trying to say that the war and everything that is happening now is how no. The use of nowadays the reverence of nowadays are leaning into war because that is what they have pushed us into because that's the situation they have pushed us into we did not just wake up one day and decide to wake up and push ourselves into war the reason why the nigerian army and the biafra liberation army the bla are clashing 24 7 is because of the fact that they have refused to do the need to they have refused to release our leader uh, Amadike, Mazenamdekano. Yes, that is why we are leaning into war. They have refused also to give us what we've been asking for for the longest of times after the civil war. I believe you me, if they have given us what they want instead of leaning into the civil war, I people I do not think we would have been here by now. I believe everywhere would have been we would have been on their own. They would have been on their own. And we would be where we are because of course there is no need for any war and we would be happy with us.
state. And by now, I believe you mean the kind of progress we would have made would not be one to even be trifled with. But of course, now so it be, now so it be hot. Uh, once you come for this conference, it will just make it look like everything that is happening now is our fault because violence is not the answer. Aneku, aneku, aneku. This is none of this is going to make the real Via France turn away from what is it needful. Uh, on the people that cannot be turned, can, cannot be swayed by these gullible talks, they know the real fight and they are not going to give us. And so on that particular note, nothing of such can make us uh, uh, give up on our fight or stop doing whatever it is we, we've been doing ever since. And so because of that, we'll keep on fighting and doing the needful, no matter what. So yes, my people, this is